Hi everyone, my name is Paul Bacheski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. In today's real estate math video, we're gonna discuss discount points, what they are and how you calculate them. All of that in this video. So in today's real estate math video, we're gonna discuss what's called discount points. Now a discount point is very important to understand with regards to the financing of the loan. So it's important to real estate agents understand what a discount point is and how it's calculated or how they are calculated. But before we get to that, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, click on the notification bell and comments and questions down below, I would appreciate it. All right, so calculating discount points. Now, a discount point is a fee that the lender charges that's paid directly to the lender at closing in exchange for a reduced interest rate. So the buyer can pay the lender so much money to reduce that interest rate, which obviously will save them a ton of money over a 30-year mortgage. We call that in the industry buying down the interest rate. That's, that's what we call it. Now, it's important to understand for the calculation purpose that one discount point is equal to 1% of the amount that's borrowed. So if, uh, if the buyer is gonna go and get a $100,000 mortgage, uh, each discount point is gonna be $1,000. That's $1,000 per point that that buyer is gonna pay that, uh, that lender to buy down the rate. Now, typically for every discount point that the buyer pays, it reduces the interest rate by one eighth of 1%. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you calculate that over a 30 year loan, in the end, it can be very substantial. All right, so let's do a couple of practice test questions that you might actually see on your real estate exam. Practice question number one. This is pretty straightforward and it's in its rawest form. A home buyer is obtaining a $100,000 mortgage. She will pay three discount points to lower her interest rate. What was the amount charged for her discount points at closing? A couple of key numbers you have to know. Number one, she's getting a $100,000 mortgage. That means her loan amount is 100,000 and she will pay three discount points. Remember, one discount point is equal to 1% of the amount that's borrowed. So the formula, as you can see on your screen, is really simple. It's $100,000 times decimal 03, or if you have a, uh, a calculator that has a percent key, you could take 100,000 times three, hit the percent key. Either way, that'll give you your final answer of $3,000. So the answer to the question, what was the amount charged for her discount points at closing? The answer is $3,000. Now let's take a look at another practice question where the question is phrased a little bit different. Tom purchased a home using an FHA mortgage for $200,000. The amount financed uh, will be $150,000 with the lender charging three discount points. What amount did the lender charge for discount points? So they threw in that little extra sentence, that first sentence there. So how do we calculate it? Number two, or uh, for question number two, the two key numbers we have to know is 150,000 and three. Notice Tom purchased the home using an FHA mortgage for $200,000, but at this point, we don't have to do we don't have to worry about that because we already know because the test question told us how much the financing will be. So they're going to finance or Tom's going to get a $150,000 loan. He's going to buy down the interest rate so the lender's charging three discount points. So so the final answer is or the calculation we take $150,000, remember that's the amount financed. We multiply that by decimal 03 again, or we can just take 150,000 times three, hit the percent key. And the answer to this question is, Tom will pay $4,500 in discount points to lower his interest rate. And then finally, uh, practice test question number three, Tom purchases 123 Main Street for 200,000. 
the loan to value ratio is 70% and the lender is charging four discount points on this loan. How much in discount points will Tom pay his lender? So there's a term in there called uh, a loan to value ratio. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the, you know, the details of that. I already did a video uh, on loan to value. Uh, you might want to pause this video and go check out this video link in the upper right hand corner that discusses loan to value ratios. But for those of you that already know what it is, uh, let's calculate this particular uh, math problem. So Tom, there are two, two key numbers in here that we have to know or we're dealing with to start out. This is a two step process anytime we're calculating a loan to value. So Tom purchased 123 Main Street for 200,000. That is the purchase price. So we have to figure out what the loan amount is and we figure that out by taking 200,000 and we multiply it by decimal seven zero because that is the loan to value. Again, we can take 200,000 and multiply it by 70, hit the percent key and it gives us the same answer. That means in step one, calculating the finance amount, uh, Tom is gonna finance 140,000. So that's step one, calculating the loan amount. We take the purchase price, we multiply it by 70%, which is the loan to value ratio. That gives us a financing amount of 140. Step two, we take that $140,000, we multiply it by 0 0.04, because remember there are four discount points, uh, four discount points being charged here. So we take 140,000, we multiply it by decimal 04, or again, we can take 140,000, multiply it by four, hit the percent key, and Tom is gonna pay a total of $5,600 in discount points. So those are the three most common formatted questions you're probably gonna see on your real estate licensing exam regarding calculations of discount points. If you're gonna continue studying real estate math, check out this video right here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would beg you to please do so. Click the little circle to my left. Comments, questions down below. It's been an honor having you here for this video. I'll see you in the next real estate math video.